Hello everyone, this is Donna Gilliland with Most Training and I have a quick tip for you today on how you can focus on just the news feeds from your favorite fan pages. Often times as we go back and we look at our news feed, it's, it's of course mixed with a variety of our friends and the pages that we like. But if you're like me, I have you know a handful of uh, favorite pages of, in different categories, for example, favorite pages that are technical. And I want to just view um, maybe the posts from those handful of pages. Well, you can do that by using the friend list, list feature and populate it with your favorite fan pages. Then you can change the filter so that it shows only the posts from those fan pages that you want to read the post from. It's really very easy. So let's get started on how you can do exactly that. I'm ready if you are. Here we go. I am now in my Facebook profile on the home page, which is where you will need to be. And on the left navigation, you see the option for friends. After you click friends on the right hand side of the screen, you will have a button for edit friends. Once you click edit friends, the button changes to say create a list. After clicking create a list, a dialog box will appear for create new list. Just beneath, you have a place to key in the name of your list. Now, I have lots of pages that I enjoy reading the, the news feed post from, but I'm going to create one called technical faves for technical favorites. Then on the... Um, Toward the right, uh, down here at the, the bottom of the box on the right, is a place for you to start typing a name. Now, again, you don't have to start typing the names of friends. They can be pages that you want to view instead. One of my favorites for news, technical news, is Mashable. And I've started typing the first few letters, and now options begin to appear. And Mashable has three different choices, one of which is Mashable Tech. I like that one. I'll click and a check mark will appear next to the page that you click. And um, if I wanted to see Mashable's top stories in the list as well, which I think I do, I'll click. Now I have two chosen. Now another one that I really like is TechCrunch. And see, this is just a repetitive process. You're going back into that name box and you're typing again the name of a page that you want to add. And since I know I want to add TechCrunch, here we go and TechCrunch does appear and I'll click and a check mark appears. In fact, there's one over here to the right that says Terry Talks Technology. This is Terry Brock and I really do enjoy his post and I'm going to go ahead and add Terry to my list too and click. Now you see it's just a repeat. And if you want more pages, again go back into the start typing a name box and start typing until you see the one you want and click. Once you have chosen all the ones you want to appear in your list, it's time to create the list. Coming down to the bottom right, the button, Create List, click. After you click, if you have a list already by that name as I do, it will tell you that you already have an existing friend list with the same name. And of course I do because I've created this before. Go ahead and click on OK. And now I'm going to pop back to my list. You know, how do you look at them now that you have it created? Well, the way that you'll do that is I'm going to return home here, and here's the news feed, and on the right here is the news feed, and you have the option for most recent. But when you click that down arrow for the most recent, of the many choices you have here is that you do have on down a list of any uh, list that you've created. I have one for family, one for favorite pages, and then if there are more than that, there's an option to choose another, and I'll be able to expand and look at my other options. And there's that one I created, Technical Faves. After clicking Technical Faves, then the news feed's going to change and focus only on those pages that I added to the list. And I can just focus on those, those posts. Don't you love it? I hope you love this tip. And I'll be talking to you soon with more social media and technology tips. Bye for now.